Here's how to create this really satisfying Rolodex effect. It looks really nice in graphs or when manipulating numbers, maybe a countdown or anything to do with numbers really. It just looks really clean and it's pretty satisfying. Uh, so I'll show you exactly how to do it. But the structure, just real quick, it's basically just a stack of numbers on top of each other. And then I've clipped the content so that you can't see them. And then in the next frame, all I've really done is flipped the positioning of the numbers so that they scroll up. Um, if this doesn't make sense to you, that's all right. It might look a little confusing, but I promise you it's a lot easier than you think. Um, so how do you do it? Let's draw out a frame. And then you kind of want to figure out what numbers you want to count up and down from. This, this isn't dynamic enough that you could count to any numbers, so you'd want to know. Um, in this case, I'll just count from 234 over to 389. Or actually, let's do like 689. I think that'll be good. Um, so I'll just get these numbers out of the way real quick. And you need each number to be in its own frame. So I'll start with 2, and then press Command-D to duplicate it, and then just drag it below and three, and now I can put these two inside of an auto layout using shift A. And now this is where it gets a little tedious, but you just have to basically count up until you've gotten to the number that you're looking for. So in this case, six. And now all I need to do is drag this container to be the size of my number. And this will allow me to position things so I can now move things to be up and down. And that's kind of where the animation magic happens. Um, so I'll just duplicate this. I'm going to delete the two because I don't need it anymore. And now I'm going from three up to eight. So I'll just duplicate this, go eight. Oh, actually, I need a seven, of course. Seven and then eight. Um, and then the same thing for the four to the nine. So I'll just duplicate this and drag it over. And if I command click into here, I can delete the three. And now I just need to duplicate this and go up to nine. Um, so you want the numbers to always be alternating. So I'll make this one start centered um, to the top. And I just want this one to be centered to the bottom. And then this one's OK. I just need to make it centered to the middle. And so now, if I select all three of these and press Shift-A, I can put them inside of an auto layout, and this allows me to adjust the spacing between the elements. So I think zero probably works, and now I can just clip the content. But I'll leave it open for now because I'm going to use it again. So I can now drag it over to here, and to get it to go to 689, all I need to do is readjust these. So now that will go to 6. This will go to three. Um, okay, so these are actually, <laughs> they're backwards, but it's okay. I'm just showing you for effect here. Um, and so we're going to 639 from 284. That's all right. So now if I select both of these, I can clip their contents. I can get rid of these. And now I'm just going to make this... Um, you can also put anything next to it, of course. So um, let me just put like a dollar sign here and I'll grab my font awesome. That's too small, but. So if you need something to be stationary, like in this example, I have a comma, you can just add that into your auto layout pretty simply. Um, so I would just type out like a comma and then drag it into here and then um, adjust it as needed, so. I might make it a little bigger, and then, um, well, actually, I could just duplicate this. Ugh. I could just duplicate this and then put a comma in that way, and then I just have to get rid of the uh, spacing around it. So I could drag this inward. So there's a few different ways that you could do it, but I won't harp on that for too long. But if we wanted this to be numbers like I had in my example, then I will just do it like this. So, All right, so now that I have my two numbers 
All I need to do to animate them is put them inside of their own respective frames. So I will duplicate this and then I'll drag this inside there. Um, you could also do this as an interactive component if you wanted to, but for this example, I will just put it inside of its own frame Need to make sure they are centered in the same spot. Uh, otherwise, it just will like jigger around as it, of course, as it's adjusting. So um, let me group this real quick, make sure it is centered, and I'll just ungroup it. Um, so this is called 172, this is 171, so I'll just rename these just to make sure that they actually do animate. Um, and now into prototyping mode. So I will set it on click. It's going to navigate to with smart animate. And I think ease out back looks the best, um, but you can do whatever you like. So now all I need to do is set this, this is flow one. So if I go in here, I can now see under flow one if it's working. So there you go. That might be a little bit too fast for my taste, but that's all right. All you have to do is make an adjustment in here. So we'll try 500 and see if that looks a little better. Beautiful. So pretty simple little trick, not overly complicated. If you follow that simple structure, you can do this for a number in the billions if you really wanted to. Um, and just a reminder, always make sure that your numbers are alternating. So in this case, center to the top, next number center to the bottom. And that really just gives it that magical Rolodex effect. Um, so if I was to add another number in here, I would just center it to the bottom and on and on and on. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already.